Yes, um, I, think, I think the comments, especially about the one thing that needs to be done in order to, uh, for, to move Africa forward, uh, were very interesting. Of course, they ranged all over the... There were, there were different issues. The one that um, stuck with me was the one about leaders, get leaders. rid of the uh, leaders and the thieves. Mm -hmm. And I happen to think that the way you do that is to have um, democracy, but you know, democracy properly defined, you know, institutions, checks and balances. Checks and balances. Yes, independence, judiciary, the media. And it was also interesting that somebody said, I'm still wrestling with that, that president should be barred from appointing key people like the chief justice and others because these people think that they owe the president. We have to find ways of containing them, which means we have to build institutions. The one thing I want to add about institutions, and of course, um, my, my brothers here had mentioned, I mean, Museveni's book, where he talks about, he says the problem is leadership. I keep thinking that, to a certain extent, it is. But my worry is that we should not rely on leaders to say, we should, just, we should not just say we will leave it to them to police themselves. We should not even look for leaders who we say, quote unquote, have good hearts. I think we have to build institutions are what give, what keep leaders behaving properly. After decades in this country, that is what I have come to believe. It's not that the politicians themselves are special, but there are institutions that hold them accountable. And so we need to be building institutions that will hold our leaders accountable. And the other thing that I think we need to reflect on about leadership and institutions is that we should not expect the leaders themselves to build the institutions. From their personal point of view, the institutions are not in their interest. They want democracy when they are out of power. Once they get into power, they think democracy is a nuisance. Mm -hmm. So we have to look outside of them to build checks and balances that, that frustrate them, that curtail their power, uh, uh, a vigorous press. And so, of course, if the leaders are not the ones to build the institutions, who, who must build them? I happen to think it has to be activists, it has to be the people who step forward. But for goodness sakes, let us not assume that the leaders will build institutions. They see the institutions as their enemies.